you stay here though. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike G. Riggins. Um, I'm an author of three books, um, Reflections of Me, which came out in 2015, The Circle of Confusion, which came out in 2018, and the newest book, Pages Out of My Journal, which will be really soon. Um, I'm also an actor. I've acted in two web series. I've done radio. I had like three radio shows. So I'm from DC, but I now stay in Atlanta, Georgia. DC didn't really have the resources, so I came to Atlanta to meet people and branch out and get into all that. This year I'm working on a book actually, pages out of my journal. Right now, to get this book underway, I'm just writing, just a lot of writing and deciding what I want the topic to be about and how deep in the topic that I want to go as far as content. You're currently in a relationship. I am currently in a relationship. I am currently in a relationship with this tall, bald head guy with the beard. He's nurturing, supportive. Um, he's a great guy, he listens. He, Helps him when I need help. Um, whatever I need, he makes sure that it's there for me to have. And yeah, he was a great guy. So today I'm um, actually hanging out with my boo Terrell. We want to pee my pop. Just to catch up, talk about a relationship, how things have been going, some things that we need to discuss um, as far as like, you know, the timeline of a relationship, see how much he's remember because I remember everything. So, you remember the first time we met? Kind of. What is kind of? Um, I don't remember. No. What? No, yes you do. No, no. Terrell. I know. The very what first happened? time we met. I don't know, you was trying to like, do your little smooth talking and... I was gonna go to the trap museum. I didn't say like, that. Yes, you did. And I, didn't I was say like, that. "Oh, you going by yourself?" And you were yeah, like, "You didn't say that." Well, I was thinking about, you know, going. I went to see if you wanted to go, and I was like, "No, I wasn't hitting on you. I was just asking where you want to go." You was hitting on me. Mm -mm. I didn't even like you. Oh, okay. I didn't even like you in the beginning. So me and Terrell met, say August of 2019. We was only talking for two weeks. I moved to Atlanta on the first. Yeah. We started dating August 6th. Um, we were together August 20th, 24th, but we were living together before that time. I can't really remember the time length, but it was within that two week span of meeting that we did move in together. Yeah. I swear to you. I would never get with anybody after two weeks. I swear to you. It was, it was probably like two. like two and a half weeks. It was in two weeks, it was probably two and a half. Okay back straight so we wasn't really dating we were in a relationship and we were dating at the same time so while we had a title we were still dating to get to know each other so it was it was kind of fast but it worked it worked for us because i was living with you before we even got together you were staying over i was living there <laughs> i had stuff I was living there I had stuff night there after date that's what that was oh so when you move your stuff in then you're living there yeah okay I know now. Um, compared to other relationships where people take their time to get to know each other and then us moving along fast and doing things, we uh, we, we we made it work. Like I don't think it was too fast. We just let it flow. It felt good. It felt right. We just let it flow. We both were in a good place. Um, he wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. We just came together and it worked. Um, as far as like other people, what they say about us moving too fast, who cares? Because the ones saying that we're moving too fast are the ones with nobody moving at all. So, yeah. I remember our first argument. I remember the day. The very first time we ever got mad at each other had an argument. I remember the day. When was it over? Hmm? When was it over? You were there. You were staying over. I don't over think that, that you had that. sent any money over for rent. It was September 29th. So I think that you were just visiting. Okay. And I think you wanted some. And I didn't give you now. You was like, oh, I'll get it from somewhere else. It was a joke. But that's the first time it started everything. It was still a joke. It was, and still to this day, you take things so personal. I do. Oh my God. I do. Oh my God. There's always some truth behind the joke. Um, I don't feel like Terrell is cheating on me per se, but does Terrell like to be overly flirty? Yes. And then what? 
Yeah, and that's it. That's that's the first time we started arguing, and after that, we just been every other hour. We don't argue that much. Every other hour. Only when you start acting real crazy for no reason. I don't act crazy. I react to you. Do you? Is that what you do? I always do. I don't just act crazy, act crazy. You have to have said something or done something that ticked me. I don't just randomly wake up and act crazy. I can blink the wrong way and you... <clears throat> that ticked what? me. Why did you blink like that? It ticked me. Because well. you rolling your eyes. What are you rolling your eyes for? <laughs> yeah. Both of us are. No. I just admit mine. You. Okay. You still here though. Well. For now. Well, that makes two of us with a plan B, huh? Uh. When Tamara said he's only here for now, I didn't take that any type of way. Because I say stuff all the time like, oh, go to the party with your friends, get some numbers, meet somebody new. So I say stuff like that all the time. So when he says stuff like that to me, I don't take it personal. Because if he was here for now, he would have been gone within the first month of, of us being together. And we've been together for over a year. So I kind of got like job offer in LA. Do you think we would like survive as a couple in LA? And why wouldn't we? Do we do a long distance relationship or do we break up? I want to do a virtual book release party. I want you to host it. <laughs> Today, I'm um, actually hanging out with my boo, Terrell. You know that I told you I really wasn't feeling Atlanta, right? So, I kind of got, like, a job offer in L.A. Okay. How do you feel about that? So, Terrell just came to me and said that he was possibly thinking of moving to L.A. once our lease was up. But if I don't go, then what? got some thinking to do. To be honest, we just got here in Atlanta. Do we do a long distance relationship or do we break up? How do you feel about that? Mm. Atlanta, California. We haven't even been here for a year yet. And how he wants to just up and move is kind of like mm, too fast for me. Different time zones. Yeah. Is that going to work? You have separation issues. Anxiety, I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you might need to consider, you know, looking into some things. It's a job opportunity, it's more money, and then it's LA, so I may consider going and I may not, I don't know. But right now, I just think it's a little too soon because we just got here in Atlanta. We haven't really got our feet wet yet. So if I stay in Atlanta, that means we have to break up? Not necessarily. But? But it will take some extra effort, some extra work. On whose behalf? On both of our behalves. Sir. How soon are you talking about moving? Um, it's going to be in the next few weeks. It's coming up real soon. Give me a date. You're not good with dates, huh? In the next few weeks. You're not good with dates, huh? I can let you know a date soon. You're not good with dates, huh? I can let you know a date. You're not good with daytime. Just so, answer the question. You're not good with daytime. I can let you know a date. Just answer the question. You're not good so, with daytime. You're not good I with dates. I can let you know a date. You're not good with dates. So. So if we were to go, do you think we would like survive as a couple in LA? Yeah, why wouldn't we? I don't know. Sometimes we, like in Atlanta, we kind of like were sheltering each other in a sense and we shut out everyone else. But when we go to LA, it's going to be a little different. We're going to have a lot of family over there. A lot of friends. Family is not the issue or the so, concern. What's the issue or the concern? He's a lot of friends. Well, you'll have to get to know my friends. There you said go. you have two, I probably have 200. In every city and state. Hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. if I don't come, just, just what? If you don't come, then... What decision would you make based on me not coming, like, as far as our relationship? I mean, I'm still going to go to LA. No, no, okay, like, clearly. Yeah. You're already gone. 
No, I'm still here sitting You're gone. in front of you right now. You're gone. But... Your body's here. Oh, okay. Well... The question was... Question. What decision would you make as far as our relationship if I don't go to California? I would let you make that because you would be deciding that you're not going. And I offered for you to go. So if I decide not to go, then I think we will just have to like separate. So if I say I don't want to go to California, but we should stay in a relationship and do a long distance relationship, would that work? Maybe for a, sign, or a certain time frame. Are you saying like forever? Or are you saying, you know, Maybe a month or two, let's figure out where we're going to be at in a few weeks or a few months. Is that what you're saying? What's the longest you'll go with the long distance relationship? Mm, probably not over like three months. We would have to continue to talk about it. It would have to make sense for me as well, not just for him to have a job. Um, if all things line up for me and I feel that it makes sense for me, I still have the resources to do everything I like to do as far as like books and radio and stuff then I may consider going. But if it doesn't add up for me, then I am not going because I have to come first regardless of a relationship and him because I have to take care of me, he's not taking care of me. So today I'm connecting with my good, good, good friend from back home, Warren. Um, Warren is a great friend of mine. We've been friends for years. We met actually because of my first book. What's up, fool? So I called you because I need to talk about my book, Pages Out of My Journal. Pages Out of My Journal is a book that I'm working on that's a collective of writings that I had that I just want to share. It's like a prelude to my first book, Reflections on Me. It's real, it's raw, it's true, it's, it's just who I am and what I've been going through, which is another release moment for me. Also, the, this one is it's, it's the same thing, still therapeutic, still shit, that real. Um, even though I have more stuff to add to it, but I'm not, I'll save that for a later day. Um, but I need your help though. I need your help. I'm going, I want to send you the file, and can you put it in the Word so that way when I send it over, it's not like gaps in pages? I went to Warren for help because Warren is, like I said, one of my good, good friends and he's into books and he gets me. He knows my attitude, he knows my moves, he knows my mind. And he understands if I send him a five page email, he can dissect it and understand what I'm trying to say and help me put it how it needs to be. Yeah, because every time I format it and send it in, it looks great. But when I get a proof, it's pages or the words aren't all the way on there. Yeah, so I really need help. Like, I'll send that over to you today. While you're formatting it and you're reading it, if you feel something should be added, like, go deeper, then pull it out of me. Deeper, pull it out of me, that's nasty. <laughs> now I just thought I'd ask you, because you know, you release like 10 books every week. So I went to him because he, he, he knows the process of being an independent author, all that comes with that, how to save money, how to get to the point, and just make things happen. So the other thing I want to talk to you about is I want to do, I don't know if I want to combine them, but I want to do a virtual book release party. With the pandemic going on, it's going to be hard to rent spaces and then they talk about social distancing and we may go back into phase one and then people won't be able to travel like you're in the DMV so you won't be able to come to Atlanta. Um, the pandemic really has affected my book rollout. It actually gave me more time to work on the book. So it doesn't feel rushed. It didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel pressure to put anything out so soon. I had that downtime to really get it together. I'm going to do it on Zoom so it could be a lot of people on there. We don't know how. You come up in here and you're gonna stay. And you know why they're gonna stay? Because I want you to host it. Me and Warren always did book events together, so it was only right to get him to host my book event. Why not? I mean, that's my good, good friend. Like, anything book related, I go to Warren. I like that. We've done shows together before. And it, it, it reminds me, it just popped up on my Facebook memory of our event that we did. This one, you don't have to spend money, you don't have to buy food, you don't have to do a bunch of running around, you don't have to deal with my attitude and my moodiness. You just gotta sit at your house. Take 
very, very much to hand it to you. You got at your house. And roll my eyes and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to host it. What better person to host it than someone who's already in the same realm and does this? Right, for sure. And then you got fans. They'll be sure to tune in. So that's great for me as well. Yes. Right. Absolutely. But right. the question was, well, the, the comment was, I want you to host, and you have yet to say yes. I just got to give me a date. Of course he was going to say yes. Warren does not tell me no. No one tells me no. I mean, I might. I thought I'd get my on. That's another thing. We got to figure out a date. I'm with the shits. <laughs> but I will hit you later. Enjoy your lunch break. All right, talk to you later. All right. Bye. Our relationship is great. Like we may not talk every day because of I move and he's busy, I'm busy. But when we pick up the phone, it's like we never even stop talking. If I don't go, what does this mean for our relationship? I am still up and down as far as moving to LA. It's just like it's a big step for me. Would you Would you do an open relationship? An open relationship? It's not gonna work. So today me and my boy want to have dinner. Just order some stuff, I don't even care. He wanted to sit down and talk to me because he wants to write a book. So let's talk about this book that you want to write. Yes. When do you want to start it? I don't know. Um, I mean, how long do you think it's going to take me to... You asked me this before and I told you it's going to take you at least a year. And how, and how long ago was that when you asked me? I asked you that a couple of weeks ago. And how many words have you put to a piece of paper? No. Right. In my so mind. Gonna... He wants to write a book about his life, but who else better to go to than moi? Like, I would be offended if he went to someone else knowing that you have a boyfriend who's written two books, you could say three, but that one's coming. You can't sell that to the people. It's not going to take me a year to write a book. How long is it going to take you then? You answer that question. I asked you the question since you are the book writer. I can I can write a book in a month, depending on what I the topic is. Okay, so it might take me two or three months then. Okay. To proofread it and do all of Whatever you need me to do for a small fee, I will do. A small fee? A small fee? If you need me to proofread your manuscript, that's a lot of work. So I would need a little, some compensation. Well, it's not gonna be like a detailed, you know, 400 page book. Well, no. Like, I just want it to be short to the point, and then I can like, you know. Short to the point won't work though, because you have a lot to talk about. Like, so that will lead up to the second book. Oh, you're doing two put, books. I need to do a series. I can't put everything in just one. Um, I do take his interest in writing series. Um, I take it very serious and I'm glad that he wants to because it's a release. I get to learn more about him, things that he possibly didn't tell me that I'll read along the way as far as like his growing up and teenage and adult years. So I'm actually excited for him to write the book. So team one, team two. So you're planning on releasing when you go to California? Um, possibly. Yeah. I think that'll be a good idea. What you think? I don't know. I don't know, because I don't even think you're going to have time to even do the book. Because when you get to California, you're going to be occupied with the nightlife and your friends and... What are you going to do it? I'm going to make time to do it because I make time for things that are important, goals in life. So let's talk about California again. Because you never really answered my question. What about that? I am still up and down as far as moving to LA. It's just like it's a big step for me. If I don't go, what does this mean for our relationship? You tell me. In your no, I want to know from you. I can't say. I can't give you an answer. You have to tell me because it's a decision that you. Would you Would you do an open relationship? An open relationship? Not open. I'm sorry. Wrong distance. distance. Okay. Okay. I was like, whoa. Jumping in there, huh? I don't feel anything about an open relationship. I am not doing an open relationship. I'll play around and say, hey, do you want to do an open relationship? But if you say yeah, then I'm going to take it serious and be like, okay, well, you can go. I just don't feel that. For me personally, nothing against anyone in an open relationship at all because I know people that are in them and it's working great for them. But for me, 
No. I would need to know when you're coming. So what if I say, I'm not coming, but I still want to be with you, and we, we still have this good thing going, you're just going to cut it off? We're going to have a FaceTime relationship. I mean, that's a long distance relationship, though. So how many times a month would you come to LA? Are you checking in? Like, you're not coming? Yeah, what? Maybe. Once a quarter? Huh? Once a quarter? I mean, yeah. So I'm a little annoyed with this whole LA conversation keeps coming up, but I also understand that time is winding down and we have to make a decision because we have to make a decision before our lease is up at the end of August. I'm gonna be on a tight I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I wanna go, but then it's like, I'm scared. We're all scared. No, you don't seem scared. You seem like you're already gone. He was already in LA because he's always wanted to live there. So he's always had his mind there, his heart's there, his body, just his physical just hasn't been there. So I feel he's already there. Like he's just in Atlanta waiting out time to go. And I'm still here trying to figure out if I want to go. Well, you know, I mean, I've moved multiple times. So, I mean, are you going to live in fear or are you going to step out? It's not living in fear. It's just like if I move, I want to be secure. Because what if we don't work out? What if we don't? Right. What's your plan? That's what I'm saying. Come up with a plan. That's what I'm saying. So come up with a plan. Like now I gotta think of like, oh if we don't work out, here's my plan B because I moved to LA to be with my boyfriend. But you should have been thinking that anyway. What if we don't or what if we don't? That's just that's just know? that's just the way you have to though. You have to cover all bases. You have to, but you also have to have the mindset of I know what I want. I know that I can make this work if I want to. So if we don't work out, it's gonna be because you don't want us to work out. So if we don't work out, it's because I didn't want us to work out. Nothing that happened. No. And I'm not saying you have to come to LA. But you're more, more than welcome to come if you would like to. So it's a little annoying because I still don't know what I want to do. And he's not being rational and like, well, if you don't go, I'm still going. He's still trying to figure it out. Like, well, I want you to go. You should come. We'll do great. And you'll do great. I'll do great. A relationship will do great type thing. What, what's keeping you in Atlanta? You don't even like Atlanta. I don't. Exactly. I really don't though. I'm, I'm not happy here. So new experience. Sometimes I regret even moving here. The only great thing that came about is living here is you. That was sweet. Because I wouldn't have met you if I didn't move here. The sweetest thing you ever said. I'm tired of talking about it. Like I'm tired of talking about it. Let me figure out what I want to do and then we'll we'll talk about it. But I'm tired of talking about LA. So I have a question. Yes. Why do you love me? Because you get on my nerves. Go deeper. That, uh, that's not the reason. Why do you love me? What made you start loving me? Um, your smile. It's a little contagious. And uh, we're like 36 and 40. You gotta go deeper. We're not teenagers. Well, because you asked me a question. Do you want to answer or do you want me to answer? Yes. Thank you. It's my baby going and. Do I really want us to break up because I don't want to go? And is that a real reason to break up because I don't want to go and miss out on someone great and he missed out on someone great? So I don't know. I'm still, I don't know. And, um, you know, like, we don't argue a lot. Oh, we do? We didn't. We, 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 we are, uh, we're like above average. We're above average for arguing with us. I don't think so. Because every little thing turns into an argument. Well, because that's because you don't know how to your talk. Fault. You don't know how to talk. I don't mean. I'm just saying it like it is. Likewise. Well. You're gonna do nothing stupid. You won't do nothing stupid. Just stay loyal. Stay faithful. You do the same. I don't know no other way. Good. I don't know no other way. Good. So I need you to be that way. Ditto. Only time will tell. We'll see. Next time on All About Mike. So today I'm catching up with my good little Judy Warren. I just wanted to touch bases so we can finalize this um, virtual book event, right? That you're hosting, right? 
Probably should be fun for you. It will be fun. I feel good about the decision to leave. Do you like salmon? I love salmon. You want salmon in your face? So the day that we were scheduled to film and you shut down production, something wasn't sitting well with me. And I just couldn't figure out what it was, but I knew it had something to do with Terrell and our relationship. Meeting up with my boo, we're gonna sit down and have lunch. Something we always do, we love to eat, as you can yeah. see. Oh, we having dinner? Yes, oh, it's, it's, it's night time. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know, we're always eating, so as you can see. So today, I'm um, meeting up with my, I don't even wanna say meet up, it's a really guy. So today, me and my boo are going to have lunch. Um, dinner. 